it's familiar to you, right? Yeah, this is my old stomping grounds. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District is around the corner. Where you used to work, Where right? I used to work for over a decade. There's a lot to unpack in the Tish James civil case. In your opinion, what are the really significant charges there? There's a lot of juicy tidbits. It's this 214-page complaint that describes conduct over the course of a decade, over 200 specific instances of fraudulent misstatements of assets to the tune of billions of dollars of misstated value. Right. That is staggering. What to me really jumps out, and what I think will jump out to a jury, are those allegations that relate to objective facts that are just lies, really, misstatements. Trump's apartment, which is the top three floors in the Trump Tower, which he valued at some ungodly amount, I think it's well over $300 million. He claims a 30,000 square foot apartment, whereas it's subjectively over 10,000 square foot, just under 11,000 square feet. That's just a lie. Juries don't like lies. General James deposed him in person, right? What do you think that was like, having Donald Trump actually in person? This is a tough clash of, of titans here. They sat across the table from each other where she asked questions. Came Sounds answer. like he didn't answer any questions. Right. I think he answered his name. Uh, <laughs> she made no bones about it. She did campaign, rightly or wrongly, that she was kind of looking to take him down. She doesn't like him, and he certainly has made no bones about calling her a racist and, you know, out on a witch hunt. This case, I think they kind of say, oh, I don't know, is that that big a deal? It's a civil case, you know, maybe some fines. What are the ultimate consequences in the civil case? They could be disastrous. They range from disgorgement of ill-gotten gains. That means he has to pay back money. He has money. to pay back $250 million. $250 million to Donald Trump. I mean, it's a lot of money, but he's got a lot of money. So yeah. is that really going to dent his... That in and of itself might not. She's also seeking these certificates of the businesses. So for, basically, he wouldn't be able to do business in New York anymore, or for a period of time. It would be very difficult. He and the three adult children who are named would not be able to serve as officers or directors for five years. She has laid out a roadmap for over a decade's worth of conduct that appears on its face to be not just civilly fraudulent, but criminally fraudulent from tax violations, conservation easements on properties that were misvalued. That's fraud. That's tax fraud. Fraud against lenders who are FDIC insured. That's federal bank fraud, insurance fraud. So there's all manner of fraud here. Given all the legal liability that Donald Trump has, what kind of trouble is he in? I don't see him weaseling his way out of this civil complaint. It, it's almost unfathomable to me. You rarely see a finding of non-liability when you have this level of detail, this level of resources, and these kinds of factual allegations. This could have this, you know, cascading effect where other law enforcement agencies begin to realize he's actually not untouchable. 